Supreme Court upholds the validity of Aadhaar. So today, one man relieved is the CEO of the Unique Identification Authority of India, which is behind Aadhaar, uh, Ajay Bhushan Pandey. I'm with him, and let's see what he has to say about this verdict. What is your overall sense of this verdict? Um, what What is the big takeaway apart from the fact that, of course, Aadhaar has been upheld as being valid? Supreme Court today has uh, delivered a historic and landmark verdict by a majority judgment. It has held Aadhaar to be constitutional and not only that, it has also held that Aadhaar Act meets limited government, good governance and constitutional trust. It has gone on to say that Aadhaar Act does not tend to create a surveillance infrastructure and it has uh, further said that Aadhaar ensures dignity of individual, individuals and empowers uh, uh, the marginalized sections of the society. Right. One good thing is that the mandatoriness of Aadhaar for the welfare schemes have also been upheld, which will mean that uh, for any welfare schemes where the earlier <laughs> A uh, uh, lot of uh, siphoning used to happen through the middlemen, bogus, ghosts, and duplicates. Now uh, those uh, will be curbed, and because of uh, requirement of Aadhaar. Right. At the same time, uh, Supreme Court has also upheld the mandatory linkage of Aadhaar with the PAN card and income tax returns, uh, and which, uh, uh, in other word, means. Uh, that uh, uh, it will uh, 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 it will check it will help check uh, tax evasions, uh, uh, money laundering, uh, black money, you know, Benami transactions, uh, and so and so. Yeah. Uh, one very important thing which uh, Supreme Court has said that while we are doing this, it has to also be ensured that no deserving beneficiary uh, should be um, uh, denied. And in fact, this statement was made by the Attorney General on behalf of UIDI and the government uh, that, uh, that uh, uh, you know, neither the government or the UIDI will ever deny any deserving benefici beneficiary uh, you know, regardless whether he has Aadhaar or not because Section 7 of the Aadhaar Act clearly provides uh, that Aadhaar is required for the government benefits and subsidies and if someone <laughs> does not have Aadhaar then uh, uh, he has to be enrolled for Aadhaar until he is given Aadhaar, the benefits benefits have to be given through the alternate means of identification. Right, but so certain sections have also been struck down, whether it's 33.1, 33.2, or section 57, uh, which is about private uh, entities making Aadhaar mandatory. Is that a setback for the government? Uh, you see, uh, the uh, Supreme Court has uh, put certain uh, uh, safeguards and also restrictions. Uh, which in my personal opinion uh, will go a very very long way in rather strengthening the Aadhaar. Right? Uh, what Supreme Court uh, has partially uh, disallowed, uh, not partially, partially uh, 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 you know set, set aside uh, section 7 of the Aadhaar, uh, section 57 of the Aadhaar Act uh, which, uh, which permitted the use of Aadhaar by private corporates uh, uh, pursuant to a contract and which did not have a backing of law. So, what the Supreme Court uh, 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 Supreme Court judgment implies that any usage of Aadhaar and mandatory usage of Aadhaar has to be backed by uh, uh, by 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 a statute. Right. So, but there was also a dissenting voice. Uh, one of the judges, Justice Chandrachur, said that Aadhaar is unconstitutional. Does that affect the perception about Aadhaar? No, so far as the uh, you know <laughs> Supreme Court judgment is concerned, you know uh, the uh, the majority uh, judgment uh, prevails. Right. So your presentation, you've made presentations which were referred many times in the judgment. Uh, anything you want to say about that? Sir? No, that presentation uh, uh, enabled us to explain uh, uh, you know the Aadhaar project uh, in a proper perspectives. Because Aadhaar is one of the undoubtedly one of the most uh, complex technological project in the world. Today we have a biometric database of 1.22 billion people. Right now, project of this scale, you know, the kind of technology that has gone in. What are the technical <laughs> safeguards? Uh, how are we ensuring that uh, there is a uh, you know there is a uh, no surveillance, uh, data protection? So all these things uh, needed to be explained to the Supreme Court. Uh, 
and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, my presentation enabled uh, enabled uh, uh, us to uh, you know make the things uh, clear to the honorable court